Overgrown Ancient Notable Trash. Are you ready to face the Overgrown Ancient in Algather Academy? Well, before you can do that, you must first deal with the notable trash mobs that surround the boss. In this post, we'll discuss some of the most notable trash mobs that you should be aware of when facing the Overgrown Ancient. First up are the Vile Lashers. These creatures will annoy you with their detonation seeds, which will spawn green void zones under your feet that deal heavy damage if struck. However, the real danger comes from the surrounding hungry lashers that will activate when you pull a vile lasher. You'll need to take them out quickly to avoid being overwhelmed. The second trash mob to watch out for are the aggravated skitterflies. These flying insects patrol the room and will cast agitation, which increases their damage done by 25%. Over time, they'll ramp up in damage, dealing increasingly deadly damage with their darting sting ability. This ability charges the skitterflies to their target, dealing heavy damage in the process. When combined with the damage buff from agitation, these skitterflies can quickly become deadly. That's why we advise you to focus on them as fast as you can. Don't let them get too close and take them out as soon as possible. In conclusion, the overgrown ancient boss in Algathar Academy may seem daunting, but with the right strategy and knowledge of the notable trash mobs, you can take it down. Overgrowth Ancient Boss Guide The overgrown ancient boss in Algothar Academy is one tough cookie, with a range of abilities that can wipe out even the most experienced of players. But with the right strategy and tactics, you can take it down and move on to the final boss of the academy. Here are some of the overgrown ancient's most notable abilities and some tips on how to counter them. Germinate Germinate is a powerful ability that creates void zones beneath all players, spawning inactive hungry lashers. This is the overgrown ancient's primary attack and can quickly overwhelm players. During germinate, the boss will follow players, creating a void zone every second for 4 seconds. To counter germinate, players should stack with the tank and move as a group around the boss. This allows players to cleave the hungry lashers quickly and prevent them from becoming too many. It's also essential to watch out for the void zones and avoid them at all costs. Branch Out Branch Out is another ability that spawns an ancient branch in a larger void zone. The add casts healing touch on the boss and splinter bark on all party members. The splinter bark debuff deals moderate damage over time and stacks up. It's crucial to stand in the green circle to remove this debuff and interrupt the cast as quickly as possible. Barkbreaker the boss will frequently attack the tank with Barkbreaker, dealing heavy damage and applying a debuff that increases the tank's physical damage taken by 100% for 6 seconds. It's essential to use cooldowns during this time, especially if the tank has to tank all the hungry lashers. Burst forth at 100 energy, the boss will explode for heavy damage to all party members and activate all remaining hungry lashers. We suggest that every second germinate is triggered before burst forth. This means that every second wave of Hungry Lashers becomes active pretty soon. Conclusion The Overgrown Ancient boss is a tough opponent, but with the right strategy and tactics, you can defeat it. Remember to stack with the tank during Germinate, interrupt Branch Out, and use cooldowns during Bark Breaker. Also, ensure to watch out for the Void Zones and avoid them. With these tips, you can take down the Overgrown Ancient and move on to the final boss of Algathar Academy.